This top would be an example of something that's super cute, but it's pretty worn and stained, and I know from the style of it that it's probably about five or 10 years old. Well, I am a wardrobe stylist for highly visible businesswomen, so what I do is I help them make every outfit in their closet a go-to outfit. And the way I do that is I first clean out their closet so that they have an intentional wardrobe filled with pieces they actually love and that fit them well. From there, I mix and match what they own so they wake up every morning and know exactly what to wear. And then lastly, I help them shop for what they need so we can fill in the gaps and make sure that their wardrobe can completely function for them. So I believe right now the statistic is that you only use 20% of your wardrobe. And so what I try to help you do is have less pieces, but ones that you use more often so that you're not walking by a sale rack and seeing, well, it's kind of cute and it's $5, so I'll take it. Instead, it's being really intentional about what you're putting in there. Do, is there a place for it? And can it make at least three outfits or more within your closet? So the first step is the closet cleanse. We do the closet cleanse first so that you could have a good foundation of your wardrobe. And I hate when I take my clients shopping and they already have pieces that can work. So I like to work with the pieces you have and then we can really decide what are the few pieces we can add in to maximize your wardrobe even more. So this one I would get rid of for a couple reasons. First, you can see some pilling details here. You can see it's very wide. It would make her look wider than she is. And this light blue color isn't great for her color palette. It's too pale for her. She needs something that's more bright like this. There are three different categories that I'm looking at as I'm going through a client's closet. The first thing I'm trying to figure out is does it match their ideal style, the style that they want to go for, as well as the activities they have in their life, whether they're going from work, out at night, or to speaking events, things like that. The next thing that I'm looking for is does it fit? Oftentimes my clients have pieces in their wardrobe that they've either lost weight or gained weight. The sizes are one or two off. And we wanna make sure that they're presenting themselves in the best way possible. So I'm always making sure things fit well and they'll try them on while I'm there too to make sure. And then the last one's pretty easy. It's whether the piece is worn and torn. So does it have pilling all over it, which we tend to find when it's the winter time? Um, does it have any stains in it or holes in it and you're just holding on to it because it's your favorite, but it's time for us to replace it. So when it comes to organizing a closet, the first thing I do is group like items. So all of her t-shirts or casual pieces will go together. I typically put those at the front so that they're out of the way from her workwear. Then I head back into the closet, reorganize it so it looks like a Pinterest style closet for you. It's super easy to find your clothes and mix and match them. And then I actually photograph them all so I can upload them to your own virtual closet, mix and match what you own. So every morning you just look at your phone and see exactly what outfit to wear. So the first thing that you wanna remember is that you can love every single piece in your closet and it can all fit you well, it's just a process. So be very intentional, be very skeptical and make sure that you love everything that you have instead of just keeping things because it's just okay because it will affect how you show up in your work and your everyday life. The second thing is to make sure that you keep things organized. You know, once your closet is a mess and everything is all strewed about in there, it naturally makes your mind a little bit messy and keeps you stressed out, even if you subconsciously don't realize it. So keeping your closet clean and making it sure it's full of pieces that you love and feel confident in is what's gonna help you throughout the rest of your day.